This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on image editing and repair using Adobe Photoshop. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll illustrate how to use masks to repair an older image, add a vignette to highlight a face, and use the Clone tool to remove an unsightly line, all in Adobe Photoshop. Let's go back to this camp image that we saw before and see if we can't make this a little bit better using a mask. First thing I'm going to do is go to Image Autotone. And we've got a good thing with the background, but the foreground is still kind of hot. So let's go, let's go first with Select, another powerful subject. Select Subject, and notice how Photoshop selects the women. Well, I want to do some work here and clean up their costume in the sand. So let's select the polygonal lasso tool, click outside the image while holding the shift key down, and just draw this line here. And I'm going, by holding the shift key down, it adds to the selection. Now we've got all of her in the sand. Hold the shift key down, click here, and we'll just quickly sketch this out right along the sand and over to here and down and back and the shift key adds so now we've got the sand but i don't want to have her coat i want to leave that alone so now i hold the option key down and holding the option key draw i'm going to quickly sketch the this looks better if you take the time to do it right and i'm not going to take the time because you're watching and i want to get a couple more things shown to you before we're done And the Option key allows me to say, exclude this from the selection. And now I've got their clothing and the sand. Now we'll open the Levels Image Adjustment Levels, which affects grayscale but not color. And this is a midtone. It's not a highlight. It's not a shadow. So I'm going to just simply drag this and pull it over. And look at this. Right about there. Look at how we pulled the texture back into the costumes again without affecting the background. This is another really good way to use a mask, is that I'm able to isolate the changes that I want to make to a particular area of the image, which allows me to improve that which is a little bit overexposed without affecting the background. This is uh, Antonio's wedding lovely picture beautiful bride but the background is just so hot i'm going to go to the geometric tool and we'll just put a little bit of a a little bit of a vignette around her by drawing an oval then selecting the inverse because we want to work with everything that i didn't draw inside there so i've selected everything select inverse and go over to this panel and say add a solid color it automatically defaults to this warm gray. You can see it right down here and click OK. And it added it as a layer above. Except there's too hard an edge here. So let's just try that again. Undo. Draw this. And this time I want to have, say, 100 pixels of feathering to soften the edge so it doesn't look quite so, so cut and dried. Again, go to this object, solid color. No, Larry, you want it to be the inverse. Pay attention. People are watching. Go to here. Solid color. Much better. Click OK. Select the layer, and let's just change the opacity. And pull the opacity down. Right about, right about there. The vignette doesn't have to be in your face, but notice how it draws the eye to her and minimizes to a great deal the whiteness of the window. You could make this a colored vignette by just changing the color that you're selecting. Here's something I learned just a couple months ago that I want to share. The clone tool allows us to copy clone stamp, copy portions of an image, and you'll see me use this more in just a minute. But notice here, she's got this beautiful bridal dress and she's done a really good job of matching the fabric of the dress with her skin, but we've got this really unsightly line here. So I'm going to select the clone tool, select her picture layer, but rather than clone by color, I want to clone by grayscale and set this to lighten. 
hold the Option key down, click near the edge, not quite so big, left square bracket, and now we'll just click right here, and what I'm doing is I'm not changing the color, I'm just painting out the shadow right about there. And now when I pull it back, that fabric blends with her skin, the shadow line is gone, and it's much, much prettier. We obviously can't do this with video easily, but we can with stills, and it's a nice way of cleaning up a shot. This was an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on image editing and repair using Adobe Photoshop. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 316. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.